Hey everybody, uh, I came across a really great analogy for explaining one of the phenomena here on my YouTube channel, and I decided to share it with you all. And uh, a lot of times these analogies that I get from the world of psychotherapy, they apply to many different situations. So um, try to take the analogy and apply it to something in your own life. Don't just uh, listen to how it applies to my life. So, uh, when I started this channel, uh, it was 2010. I wanted to split up my uh, my opinions about certain subjects that were hot button away from the videos that I had here on YouTube that were of weddings and. Uh, funerals and whatnot, you know, family get-togethers, just cute videos of my uh, young family doing stupid stuff, stuff like that. And uh, prior to that, I had been introduced to the YouTube community by my friend Alan. And uh, he was amazed that I had gone a good 30 years of my life not feeling like there was a large community of non-religious people to reach out to. Uh, basically from age 7 to age 30 I was an atheist telling people straight up that I did not believe in their gods and I did not know anybody else who felt the same way. And, you know, that's a pretty long time to feel like you're the only one who sees the Emperor has no clothes. That's like 23 years of my life. So Alan, um, I met him while I was in the Army. Uh, we, we get on that subject one day, and Alan's like, well, have you seen this YouTuber and this YouTuber? And he gave me a list of like 10 YouTubers to check out back in the day. And I was like, holy shit. And that kind of opened my world to the larger uh, atheist community online and across the world. So uh, Alan and I decided to try to join it. Uh, and originally we were using our own YouTube channels, but we, we decided to make one collectively. And then uh, a couple months later, he... Uh, got really depressed and decided to YouTube aside. And he deleted the channel that we both had worked on so hard. Uh, it was called Casper's Tube, by the way. Uh, he deleted that. And he had no regard for whether or not my work was on the channel, possibly unsaved. And uh, I was kind of miffed. And I realized that I still didn't want to make videos about hot button topics on the same YouTube channel that I had all my family videos on. So I started this Agent of Doubt channel, right? That was, I think, March of 2010. And since then, I have made progressively less and less videos about atheism, the uh, the fight between theists and atheists, and the whole great debate that goes on between them. Um, and there there are certain reasons why, but uh, mostly I just found myself drifting away from the topic. And to that end, I I've come across an analogy that kind of explains why I, and maybe some of the other YouTubers that you watch regularly from that era, have strayed away from the topic a bit. So, here goes. The spicy walk analogy. So I like cooking. I really like cooking. And I like to use a lot of fresh meat and vegetables. And one of the best ways to just cook up something fast is to 
get out your wok, throw the vegetables and meat right in there, just sear them on up, right? And of course there's various spices that uh, you might use to bring some flavor and some adventure into your dish. And one day, my niece, being the young person that she was, she didn't know what she was doing, but she wanted to help in the cooking. So she grabbed some of the spices that I would normally put into the wok, and she decided to add some more for me. And she added, you know, half a can of red pepper, right? And so I'm cooking and stirring in my wok and, you know, stirring it all around, not noticing that there's this giant amount of red pepper in my wok. And then I decide to taste it. And, ooh, it is spicy. It is hot. It is so spicy that I am jarred out of the experience of cooking. I gotta take a moment to try to protect my taste buds. It is so damn hot. I'm drinking milk to put it out. You know, I'm you know, doing the little spicy dance. My head's sweating, you know. And uh, I take another bite and ooh wee! It's spicy again. What the hell happened to my walk? You know, there's a lot more spice than I like normally in my walk. And at that moment, I've got a couple options. First option is, I can continue to eat that spicy, spicy food, right? Just try to become accustomed to the spice. You know, let the sweat drip off my brow as I'm taking each and every bite, right? And really not enjoying myself because the flavor is uh, beyond ruined, you know? All I can taste is spice. I've also got the option that I can toss it out. Just put some fresh vegetables, some fresh meat in there and, you know, sear it on up and add some new spices to it. See what comes out. Or, if I don't want to waste the things that are in the walk, that are spiced way beyond my liking, I do have the option of adding more ingredients, you know, to try to make this a larger batch. You know, throw in some more vegetables and some more meat on top of the spicy stuff to try to mitigate how spicy it is. You know, just make one giant batch. I think from time to time, we see that uh, people get to that point where the uh, excitement and adventure in their lives is a little bit too much. The outrage gets to them, and they make choices. And some of the uh, people that have made these choices before me, you no longer see them on YouTube, at least not in the same uh, capacity that they were. They don't talk about the subject anymore at all, you know, if they do. I'm talking about uh, people like, say, your Greg's Kitchen, right? Greg's Kitchen used to have a different channel, One God, One Jesus, where uh, he was very irreverent. Um, but now all he does is cook simple things. And he's got a, a much larger YouTube following for it. And he's, he's experienced a lot of success. You've got people who've gone uh, a different way where they uh, experience success by talking about new things that are completely off topic, such as TJ Kirk talking about pop culture and Justin Bieber and whatever uh, the story du jour is, you know. 
And you've got people who just left altogether. People like Exit Dodo or Das American Atheist or Together for Peace or Theo Warner, you know. No matter which side of this spicy debate that they were on, they decided they just wanted no more of the spice at all. You know. There's many different paths you could take when you realize that your walk is too spicy. And uh, I guess the most important thing is that you end up enjoying your life.